Salutations, thanks for tuning in to my video. I'm Clark, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an external MIDI controller like the Morningstar MC6 Mark I and an expression pedal to control Line 6 Helix Native. Of course, what you'll need for this is the actual expression pedal and the actual MIDI controller itself, a DAW, and a Helix Native license to do this, which you could do this on the trial, but just go with me on that. The first thing I have opened up here is the uh, Helix manual. And this is for the actual hardware for the Helix. And as you can see, there are many CC codes here that are very important. So you can emulate stomp switches, you can emulate expression pedals, and you can even emulate uh, or do the uh, snapshot changes. Um, Helix Native won't let you use these exact ones by default. You can't change that to where you can, it would allow you to do that. But let me show you what happens when you do that. And we see CC2 emulates Expression 2. That's what I want to use for the, for the volume block. So let's go back here and let's use CC2. Make sure you hit Save. It saves successfully. Now I'm getting out of editor mode. Going back to Ableton Live. And right here, I'm going to MIDI Learn for this volume block. Now I'm going to move the expression pedal, and it's going to learn it. Now it comes up with a warning that you can't use MIDI CC2 because it's reserved for the Helix hardware. So you can turn it off in compatibility mode, and the preference is allowing you to use the CC in Helix Native. So if you go over here to your settings and Helix compatibility or hardware compatibility I've got it by default it comes Helix floor LT or rack okay so I want you to look at this preset list here alright if I turn this off hit OK all my presets disappear so they're all blank now and I just don't want that so I'm going to leave it on by default and the presets come back and here we are with the very first preset here for the big plexi not doing any playing in here, this is just showing you how you can control it. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the control assignments, the accurate control assignments right here. So I'm going to actually put the MC6 back in editor mode, change this back to CC4, and save that. It's saved. And let me show you that I have this bank set up for Helix Snapshots. And this CC69 will still work with Helix Native, just like it does with the regular hardware. So 69 value 0 is Snapshot 1, value 1 is Snapshot 2, and so on like that. So I have all eight of these programmed in here. And exit editor mode, go back over here to Ableton, and you can see right up here I'm on Snapshot 1. Well, to get the, these two to talk together, you have to go and set up a MIDI channel on your DAW, okay? MIDI from, I have set up to the Morningstar MC6. I have it on all channels right now because I'm only using one MIDI device, but if you wanted to be very specific, you could put that on the specific MIDI channel. And I have monitor turned to N, and now I have to route the MIDI somewhere else. Because by default, you see here, it goes to no output. So, I've set it to go to this third channel here, this third track, and to the plugin that I have already dragged over to the track, which is Helix Native. So now, the MIDI from the uh, MIDI controller is routed through the DAW to the track that I'm wanting. So let's go back here to the track, bring back up Helix Native. So now, if I've done my MIDI programming properly, I can change the snapshots and as you can see it's changing the snapshots and snapshot 8 snapshot 5 back to snapshot 1 and I have this volume pedal selected here so you can see the um, expression here so I had to MIDI learn this and then it learned that it's MIDI CC4 that I want for the volume position. So now I can 
use the volume pedal and uh, do snapshot changes on this but it'll also do stomp changes as well now going back to the manual uh, I cannot use CC 49 through uh, 58 here or even CC 59 to emulate the stomp pedals uh, I have to go and um, on the Helix native manual, I can see that all these are reserved for the hardware. Like I say, I'm using the hardware compatibility on this. But you see there's a space between MIDI CC3 and MIDI CC49. That means 4 through 48 can be used openly on anything you want on Helix native. So I have assigned CC11, CC12, and CC13 to foot switch 1, 2, and 3. And I went to distortion. In this case, I'm going to put the MIDI to none for this. And now I'm going to click MIDI Learn, press it, and it comes up with MIDI CC 11. So now, when I press this, the distortion goes on and off. I also have MIDI uh, 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 foot switch 2 assigned to this first delay here. And I can toggle that on and off. Same thing with this reverb block here. I can toggle that on and off by doing the MIDI learn function and using an open MIDI CC code. So that is how you can use an external MIDI controller like the Morningstar MC6 Mark I and an expression pedal with Helix Native in Ableton Live in this case. But you can, if, if your DAW is MIDI capable, I'm sure you can route it to the plugin to get it to work right. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care.